Chair, and uh, thank you all honorable members, both from Senate and the National Assembly for the opportunity. And uh, to say that uh, I sit in the emergency team that uh, CS for Transport has talked about on behalf of uh, my CS. And uh, can assure just to uh, add to what uh, the CS has said, can assure the country that uh, uh, there is a lot happening to ensure that we beat certain deadlines that uh, have been set, some as soon as tomorrow and Friday in setting up uh, emergency and rescue operations. And that is why uh, a lot of uh, the decision makers are quite involved in them because the deadlines are fairly tight. I also want to formally pass the apology of my CS uh, who was actually invited to accompany the CS for health to answer the bulk of the questions that were posed to us and say in the country there are a lot of things happening. Today, uh, the first thing that happened was a National Security Council that has just ended. And uh, I am lucky that Honorable uh, Uta is here and he can bear me witness that uh, the CS and all the security chiefs in this country have been holed up in a security meeting the whole day and uh, the National Security Council has uh, directed that uh, they resolve some of the issues that we are discussing and therefore the CS is still with them as we speak and uh, like I'm saying in the room I have the uh, Honorable Wauta who has been in that ministry and can confirm that that's the case and uh, so that the issues that were raised uh, around our ministries are handled and uh, mainly around immigration, the CS requested that you allow me and the Director General for uh, Immigration to respond to these questions, Chair. I think... Uh, I confirm. <laughs> Thank you, Senator Uta. He, he, uh, he confirms with the Minister. Uh, in a security meeting, and so I think that's proper um, explanation. You know, yesterday there's uh, somebody we asked where the PS was. They said they don't know. So, and the PS is the one who had addressed the letter to us. So, when when government officials answers, you know, give such answers, that's why you see members sometimes really don't um, don't understand what's happening. But I think your explanation is okay, and you can proceed with the questions that have been asked that pertains to your ministry, especially on the immigration, the border security. And I think the question also, yes, I don't know whether we've been able to also handle the issue of repatriation of Kenyan citizens from China, whether it's a plan by the government to do that. And if... And uh, generally, I uh, want to write on what the CS has said in terms of uh, the procedures that uh, have been applied, both in terms of uh, monitoring uh, flights from specific countries and also passengers from uh, those countries. And uh, in this, what uh, the ministry has done uh, through uh, our immigration department, uh, besides the screening that is being done uh, by the Ministry of Health, is that every passenger who is entering into this country, uh, the Department of Immigration is uh, without exception taking all the travel history of all the passengers. And specifically for passengers who have been uh, in the last two weeks uh, been uh, directly uh, flying from uh, China, Italy, Iran and South Korea, or even transited through those countries. What the ministry is doing 
as long as they are cleared by the Ministry of Health, is, uh, to collect their data, uh, pick the dates that they have traveled, collect their uh, residential areas of uh, residence while they are here, as well as uh, their telephone contacts while in Kenya, and sending that directly to a department that has been set up in Ministry of Health for surveillance so that in case there is need to reach any of them, uh, the ministry will be able to mobilize resources to meet them. We have uh, done that both at uh, our airports, our port of uh, Mombasa, and all our land ports of uh, points of entry, as well as training our immigration officers in uh, how to handle and uh, screen uh, the, 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 the people because uh, they are also uh, the first point of contact with the people who are moving to the country. There was a court order chair that had been uh, issued around the 239 passengers who, uh, who came to Kenya through the flight that the CS has alluded to. And uh, what we can confirm is that uh, we have contacts of all the 239 uh, passengers who came into this country, we still have not been able to mobilize them to a KDF uh, facility. Of course, we know the challenges that would come with that. But we want to confirm that uh, the Ministry of Health has confirmed that none of the 239 uh, passengers who came to this country has shown any signs of uh, infection uh, of the coronavirus. And uh, what we are doing also is activating all our border management committees uh, that are composed of all the agencies that uh, play a role in our either immigration, customs, and uh, whoever else to ensure that uh, they are screening everybody who comes into this country. They have been trained and surveillance is uh, taking place as effectively as uh, we can. Uh, we are also, because we know that uh, it's easier to deal with the airport uh, as opposed to the land entry points, we have also for all our border counties been able, uh, through our county commissioners, uh, we issued uh, the procedures of uh, operations to them, uh, the security teams through our county commissioners, and all our border uh, counties are on high alert, and uh, the surveillance and monitoring is being done via the uh, supervision of our county commissioners. All I can assure is that uh, we are ready, and uh, we as a ministry also thank God that so far uh, in the whole country there hasn't been any positive case of coronavirus, and we will continue uh, putting our best effort forward to ensure that if there is any, it's handled uh, by the multi-agency team effectively. Thank you, Chairman.